Hey everybody, we're here laying in bed sulking at 3 in the afternoon because we have just had the most expensive week since we started full-time RVing, all because of three unexpected expenses. We want to share them with you because we think there is a moral to this story besides bad things happen in threes. So the first thing that happened this week is I went in, both of us actually went in for our annual dental appointments and we have dental insurance that we pay about $70 a month. But the dentist noticed that I had a cracked tooth. So I had to get a crown on that and the insurance only pays half for that. So we had to pay 500 something dollars was our share. But now, it's still giving me a little trouble, so I have to go back to the dentist tomorrow. No telling what that's going to cost. We're hoping for no root canal. But we are down here in, t in Tampa to do all of our annual health appointments, including dental and our regular physicians, and also the um, checkup on the RV. So. We expected to have a little expense, but nothing like it's been this week. This next one requires some explanation. A few years ago, my father-in-law um, gave us a timeshare that he had no long he no longer used. He had owned it for more than 25 years. It was on Daytona Beach, beautiful place, and we went pretty much every year to the Turkey Rod Run car show over Thanksgiving week. So we thought it was perfect to get this timeshare and just have to pay the maintenance fees, which really covered the cost of the week that we stayed there. And it was nice just to get away from the RV occasionally to be in a hotel and uh, just enjoy the beach. So we enjoyed it for a few years and then the great storm Hurricane Irma last year came up that the Florida coast and pretty much wiped out the beach areas um, up around Daytona and did a lot of damage to the timeshare. Well little did we know that in the contract when the timeshare was purchased there was a clause in there about special assessments and if there was any damage that couldn't be covered on that couldn't be covered by insurance the HOA board could vote a special assessment and this assessment would be required to be paid by the owners to bring the building back up to standard. The problem occurred when they didn't get the, when the timeshare didn't get the insurance settlement they were hoping for because of some disputes and the owners really didn't reserve the capital needed to make any necessary repairs. So even if there wasn't a hurricane that did the damage, I feel like we would have still been forced into this um, special assessment. And not only that, the timeshare is not, it hasn't been open since the hurricane and they don't expect it to open until sometime in the middle of next year. So we basically just wanted out. We didn't want to pay the special assessment they said there's probably going to be another special assessment next year, so we just wanted to be done with it. So they gave us a few options. Option one was to pay the assessment and pay our maintenance fees and pay the next assessment, basically. We didn't like that option. The second option was to switch the deed to another property. Um, 
pay to do that, it would cost around $2,000. And then you'd have a $495 filing fee. And then you would just continue to pay the maintenance fees at the new place. Well, we don't like that either because we liked Daytona for this one particular week to go to the car show. The best decision of the three horrible decisions was the final decision, and that was pay $5,000 plus a $495 filing fee and hand the timeshare over to the management company. Now this would get us out of any maintenance fees, get us out of this special assessment that they assessed to us, which was over $1,000, and would basically relinquish our ownership of this timeshare. So that's what we decided to do. It cost us $5,495. And I must add that before we did this, we talked to two of these timeshare exit companies, and they both agreed that this was the best way to go um, when dealing with this type of situation. The last one really breaks our heart. As you can see, we have delamination of our patio door. And this happens over time. And so we um, first noticed it several months ago, but it wasn't that bad. And slowly over time, it's been getting worse. So we took it into a repair facility to see what they could do to fix it. And basically, once this happens, you have to replace the whole door. And we're gonna be making a separate video talking about this whole process. We went to our insurance company. They declined to fund the repair because our insurance only covers things that are sudden and accidental. And delamination happens over time, even though it could be a sudden event that starts the process, like a hurricane, for instance. Um, the actual delamination happens over time, and so they won't cover it. And of course, our extended warranty wouldn't cover it because they don't cover water damage as part of the extended warranty. So we're forced to pay for it out of pocket. And we really need to get it fixed because it's our deck for one, and we actually use the space. And two, they say that if it keeps getting worse, this out, outside part could eventually just break away um, and really be awful looking on the RV. Also, it's a wall. I mean, we have a sliding glass door behind there, but it is the wall and the side of our RV. So the bottom line is we got the door ordered and had to pay for it this week. And it's going to be a little over $5,000 to get it repaired. So why do we make this video? We know that life happens and there's going to be expenses that are unexpected along the way. So it's important, like we always say, to have a budget and make sure you're putting some money away to for these unexpected expenses. We were lucky that we've been saving over time for things just like this, so we right. didn't end up having to use any credit cards or anything like that. Um, just because you're living the RV life doesn't mean yeah. that stuff's not gonna happen, especially with the RV. And if you're saving a little money living the RV life, some do, some don't. But if you are saving a little money, don't just blow it. Tuck it away for a rainy day so that you can cover these expenses. So hopefully our weeks get better as we are here in Tampa and the door will get fixed. Julie's mm -hmm. tooth will get better. And we're happy to be out from underneath these special assessments mm -hmm. from the timeshare company. So once we get the RV repaired, we'll be back on the road and we hope to see you all along the way. Safe travels.